issues? Well, the, the failure of the Copenhagen negotiations last December has shown again that we need to put stronger emphasis on the international cooperation processes on the future of global governance in the field of the environment. And there are a number of important uh, questions to be answered. One question, for example, is the future of the UN system. Is the UN, our multilateral negotiation that involve 108 nations, is this the right answer to the pressing environmental problems of our times? Or should we rather think about new types of international cooperation, new innovative avenues of bringing different interests, different countries, different actors together? One way, for example, that has been discussed by various observers is to bring in more non-state actors like NGOs, but also business actors, bring them on the table and try to, uh, to in increase the, the, the speed of negotiations by kind of bringing all these actors together in international negotiations. Other ways forward that have been discussed by observers and by scientists is the inclusion of majority voting, for example, uh, and changes in the procedures of international negotiations. So there are a variety of new forms of international cooperation that are being discussed. Uh, I don't have any particular opinion on the value of either one of them, but I believe this is a very important and very urgent research need that requires further research uh, and more efforts uh, in the international research community studying these kind of issues.